Hi, my name is Claire. I'm an aspiring documentary filmmaker, currently doing my honours degree in journalism at Rhodes University. Today, I will be reviewing a documentary released this year that has been nominated for an Oscar, rightfully so. Its title is For Sama. It is called that as it is a tribute from a mother to her daughter, Sama. For Sama to watch and witness in many years to come what her first year of life was like. As a documentary fanatic, I am willing to make an incredibly bold statement of saying this is single-handedly the best documentary I have ever seen. To give some context, For Sama was filmed and directed by Syrian journalist Wahad al Khatib, who is also a supporting member of a peaceful rebellion group opposing the Bashar al-Assad governance and regime. Wahad, alongside her husband Hamza, live in Aleppo in northern Syria one of the oldest inhabited cities in the world, also the largest city in Syria. And in a nutshell, she documents the destruction and decay of their city in the Syrian civil war and films the massacre of beautiful people in that city. The film is narrated by Wad, telling their family story to Sama. That sentiment in itself is so very poetic. There is a stage in 2016 where there are multiple Russian airstrikes a week, bombs dropping almost every day, people being blown up and killed by tank shells. It's all filmed. There is zero censorship in this documentary. On that note, I do feel there should have been a trigger warning at the beginning, which there wasn't, due to the fact that there is a lot of blood and death and devastatingly grotesque scenes. Her husband is a doctor and during this time, he dedicates his life to saving civilian lives. And so a lot of the film is set in hospitals. What I loved about the film is it wasn't about the war itself, but about people, people living under war conditions. What took me by surprise was how little violence is seen in this documentary. There is little physical fighting. Death seems to come from the sky. What was amazing to see is how compassionate and united people were and are in Aleppo, which feels so contrasting to current Western society and Western culture, where socially there is such a divide amongst people and so much aggression towards different groups of people. And then in, for Sama, as bizarre as this might sound, there are elements of peacefulness. What made this documentary so groundbreaking is it wasn't just about suffering, or just about conflict, but you witness moments of joy and you get to see two people, Wahad and Hamza, being so in love. You witness their fight to hold on to their humanity. You see how parents love their children and would give their lives for their children. Although it, although it is not spoken about in For Sama, it's important to recognize how people are treated as collateral damage in a proxy war that once again involves America and Russia. This story was important to be told because there is so much misinformation about the Syrian war and how all opposing parties to the government are often labeled as extremists and terrorists, which is so untrue. This documentary shocked me to acknowledge how the world and the media decide which social issues should be deemed important. I believe the world lets Syrian people down Journalism lets Syrian people down. In mainstream media, when the Syrian conflict is spoken about, the conversation is almost always centered around ISIS. And For Sama shows a different narrative, which is why it's so beautiful. The representation of that war has always seemed very Islamophobic in the media, and it is just so much more complex than that. That war still continues today as I'm speaking to you. There are nonviolent people in Syria still opposing the same oppressive dictator and dying for their beliefs. Wahad al Khatib, she is just a sensational journalist, powerful woman, and loving mother, and I hope she wins that Oscar. Go watch this documentary the next chance you have. I do recommend being emotionally prepared before watching For Sama. It's not a film. It's an experience.